Hey guys, Electroplay46 here, back with a part 2 of my rigging tutorial series. Um, last video there was um, some trouble with the IK rigs, with the IK bones, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix it. And in our recent tutorial, uh, we made this sort of thing, and I deleted this side because, um, I, because I don't want to like do it for both sides. And so... I have these in a different spot than usual, and you'll see why. The arm is back here and the leg is up front. And I've been feeling a little under the weather, so expect some, like, sniffs like that or whatever. And maybe some silences or coughs, but, um, uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. In last video, we created this, and we set up the IK rigs by hitting this and shift-selecting this and hitting control C and selecting inverse kinematics and oh yeah sorry I forgot to um, clear the parent but you know it, the arm doesn't actually move like this and so we need to fix that and so wh what you usually do in blender also set the chain length too but what you normally would do is you'd say, alright, I want the pull target to be bone 09, and so I'd go armature, and then bone 09, but it's straightened out, and it won't move anywhere. And the way to fix this is that you don't even need pull targets, but what you're going to do is you're going to keep it like this, but you're going to select this bone here, and this bone, the one above, and you're going to hit shift Control c and do inverse kinematics and now it will actually work like a regular arm when you do it and I figured this out yesterday but I thought I haven't done a tutorial in a week so I'm gonna just put this up yeah sorry um but you know I mean it's just so annoying when it's straightened out and as you can see, it does like flip over if you get too high. But that's because the pull target is right here. So, you know, you just do that. But, you know, arms don't actually work like that either. And same with the leg. You're going to want to set up the IK. Control Shift C. And now you have your IK. Or, uh, uh, option P. Okay, parent. And, uh, and uh, it's still like that. <coughs> so, chain length 2. And it's still messed up, so once again, we go to this bone here and select, shift select the top upper leg, control shift C, and go inverse kinematics, and now the leg is acting like a leg we usually would. And I'm going to do all the other stuff I did in the recent tutorial um, after this point, so we're just going to go into edit mode and hit this bone here and... Just sort of bring up our selection tool by hitting C and going over everything on the left side. And view from the front again. And hit uh, Shift C to bring our 3D cursor to the center. And hit period to make the rotation point like right here. And end a point right here. And Shift D, S, X, and negative 1. So... And after we have done that, and everything is working, to pair it, we are going to select the mesh, and now shift select the bones, and hit control P with automatic weights. And, um, control tab, and now it has weights, and what not, so, you know, it's just a fine little rig you can do by yourself. Um, n I'll never forget to check deform, but for the for the for uh, purpose of this tutorial, I will not do that again. And if you are curious to, um, like, uh, know how to. Sorry, how do I say this? Um, to make it so these aren't connected, you're going to go 
uh, you're going to shift select the mesh and then the bones and hit alt or option P and hit clear parent and so now these bones are once again just disconnected so and let me remind you that the bones are only connected to where they are oops sorry in edit mode or uh, ed yeah edit mode so the mesh is going to be this bone is going to be applied to the mesh around it in edit mode not in pose mode so it's not going to be applied to like just this small area and so we can just go control tab again select the mesh and the bones and then hit option p uh no control p with automatic weights and it'll automatically go back automatically go into position but Anyway, that is how you set up while working IKs in Blender. Uh, the last video, it wasn't working properly, and I have fixed it for you here today. And, you know, spread it out, whatever. Blah, do that. Do whatever you want with a rig you make. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and be sure to watch the first part. Bye.